What's up, folks? Yeah, it's Wes, Mr. Movie Night here. In the uh, little movie room, or whatever you want to call it. Guess what? Yeah, there's a little stack of stuff here. You're thinking, what is that? Because I said I wasn't going to do another DVD update for a while. I said I was going to hold off and stuff, but you know what? It's a sickness. It happens. Saw some cool stuff, and uh, it was, you know, nice price, so I had to pick it up. And uh, let me uh, just go ahead and go through what I got here and... Just a quick little, you know, quick little update here. I gotta blame my buddy, Mr. OD666666, for these first things because I saw him show a couple of these on his update, and I'm like, you know what? Those look cool. I gotta track them down, and yeah, they're cheap. And uh, OD man, you made me look these up, and and uh, I just was like, you know what? I gotta I gotta t check these out, and it is the rare flicks. Uh, there's a couple of rare flick sets here. Um, I've heard about these before, but I've never really explored them much. Um, I don't think the transfers are very good from what I've heard. Uh, OD could probably tell me more and tell you guys more about that. But this is the uh, Volume 1, and it contains Death Collector, The Disturbance, and Pose for Murder. You know, these look like those classic, like, 80s, you know, maybe on cable type films. Um... You don't hear much about them, but probably very cheesy. But you know what? Uh, just like a lot of these people on here on YouTube, I like this stuff, and it just really appeals to me. These are really cheap. Um, I can't remember what these sets were, but they were pretty cheap. Um, so it's just fun stuff. You know, it, it says um, it says hard to find, hard to believe, and you have to see. So yeah, there we go. Man, we got Death Collector, The Disturbance. Pose. Gotta love the cover art, and these are in uh, full-size jewel cases. I've not opened this yet, so I can't really show you all the other, the inside of the di disc and all that. But I'll just show you these sets right quick. And I picked up Volume Two, and this has The Killer Like Candy, Molly and the Ghost, and Run Like Hell. Um, I'm thinking, what the hell? Because I've never heard of these. But anyway, The Killer Likes Candy. There's that. Um, a paid assassin stalks his prey. Revenge is forever, and um, anyway, same deal. You got the uh, you know three films here in the uh, regular size jewel cases. Um, here's the back of these, like a brief description. These look like cheesy fun. A lot of them are probably total crap too, but um, just something kind of neat about these. And then I don't know why I somehow skipped a four and didn't get three, but this is volume four. Um, and it's got Boogie Vision, Transformed, and Lightning Bolt. Almost looked like some black exploitation type, uh, you know, maybe some of these uh, in the vein of... Um, but, you know, these actually look like martial arts, too, here. This has Fred Williamson here, and um, I really know nothing about these films. I've never even heard of them. So, uh, the weak must take a stand. Strikes like a ball of thunder. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, but anyway... Um, Again, same deal, description here, a couple of, like, one little picture. So I really know nothing about these, but it's just one of those things where it seemed like something cool to pick up for the for the collection. You know, it might be enjoyable on a rainy day. So, yeah, Rare Flicks. You guys check those out on Amazon or whatever. Go look them up. There's these few box sets. I think there may be that another one might be on there. Um, and they were very well priced for, for three films. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what they were, but... Uh, you know, you know, if I picked up three of them, they were pretty cheap. So, and moving on here, uh, we've talked about this company before, Mill Creek, and I have several of their things. And I'm aware they use a lot of public domain stuff, and they have cheap transfers and all this stuff. But you just can't beat the amount of content you get for the money. This is the classic sci-fi TV, 150 episodes, over 60 hours of sci-fi television. Now, I don't know much about these type of shows that were back in the 60s and 50s and 70s you know early 70s that would come on television but we got like Captain Fathom, Captain Zero, uh, Here Comes Tobor, Invisible Avenger, uh, Undersea Kingdom and you can see it has several uh, you know it shows the number of episodes from each of these shows uh, the cover art's cool on this one uh, classic sci-fi TV over 50, 60 hours of entertainment and this one just like these other Mill Creek I can get this open. It's got the you know the regular discs inside. They're in sleeves, so you know certainly not a a high quality 
you know digipack or something that you really want to show off you know but there but this could be some fun um certainly kill some time like i say on a rainy day uh just to pop these in and just kind of look at all the fun you know sci-fi cheese with the bad special effects and stuff like that and they could be entertaining this set was cheap too so picked it up and like i said it's classic sci-fi tv um here's one from another one from mill creek actually and i have uh several other ones of these so that's why i wanted to go ahead and pick this one up too and this is ultra cheap uh i've got the other volumes like i said but this is drive-in cult classics volume two eight movie collection it contains the hearse land of the minotaur the creeping terror bloodlust terrified they saved hitler's brain mad men of mandoras and the devil's hand and i like that uh picture on the front which i believe was trish vandeveer it was in the hearse which was the lady that was in the changeling that played the um basically george c scott's you know friend and love interest whatever you want to call it she was actually his wife in real life but um this may be her i'm not sure but i think she was in that film over 10 hours of driving fun little synopsis of these uh these sets are actually a little bit better quality you know the discs inside are at least in like a little flipper not flipper disc but you know they're in a more of a they're not in little sleeves they're kind of in an actual case which is good but um anamorphic widescreen transfer looks like most of them are you know new digital transfer so on and so forth um so i think these are not actually bad um so yeah for the money this was probably something like five bucks i mean just crazy price so uh definitely worth it and finally uh I saw this on somebody else's channel as well, and this is, uh, you can't go wrong with some Jim Varney and the Ernest character. I have other, uh, films of his, and I just, uh, you know, may he rest in peace, love that character, but this is the Hey Vern, It's Ernest, the complete series. This was like a TV show. Whoops, I dropped that. It's like a television show. Um, Hey Vern, it's me, I'm on TV. And I'm not sure exactly when this aired. I guess this will tell you right here, but, um... I guess it's oh maybe not I don't know but it has like live action sketches of his um this one has it shows all the episodes here hey Vern it's outer space hey Vern it's scary things so on and so forth hey Vern it's food it's school um and I think he plays you know his multitude of wacky characters I may have seen one or two of these uh before but and again this is another one of those Mill Creek sets um but anyway it's is a uh, four hours and 53 minutes this was super cheap as well, so I recommend you guys. Uh, I've, I've looked up a couple clips of this on YouTube, and it looks like fun. So uh, I recommend you guys uh, check this out if you like Ernest, and you know if you love this character. Uh, Jim Varney was great, and again, just entertaining and fun to put on when you're when you just want something to watch. So yeah, that's some uh, few things there I picked up. Um, I encourage you guys if you want. Uh, if you like this cheesy kind of stuff and you want like a, a cheap set with a lot of quantity for cheap uh check out mill creek on amazon you know type in mill creek check out um i want to think it's bci clips and uh image entertainment some of those kind of companies that put out these compilations and these different sets um you know this rare flicks is actually from the company's actually is rare flicks so you can type that in and look that up there we go folks um big pile of uh big pile of crap there to tell you the truth but <laughs> fun and uh cool and uh you know just brainless mindless cheap and a lot of movies that uh you know for not a lot of money and just fun stuff to look at the artwork and check them out i think the link a lot of these may even be like vhs transfers i'll let you guys know i don't really know much about the actual you know look of everything but Anyway, another shout out to OD666666 for showing this, showing these rare flicks and uh, putting that idea in my mind. So great. Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, like I say, just uh, wanted to show that stuff um, and hopefully it wasn't too boring, but thanks. You guys have a good weekend and I will see you soon. Peace. <laughs> this is kind of funny. This actually says rear flicks. I think, I think they were thinking of something else, but that's kind of disturbing.